Hello, everybody. Back for back with some new content. What I'm doing is I'm going to the Caledonia Historical Park. It's a little bit of ways, but I wanted to film this section of road. It's pretty interesting. And once I get to the park, camera off, and we'll do the whole walk around. There's a lot to see, a lot of old buildings, even a caboose. They were all moved from different parts of the area. So, we're coming up to, I almost forget, East River Road. Runs along the Root River here in Caledon. And what stops now? Of course, on the electric bike, Mr. Sparky. Clicked over 300 miles total so far, but absolutely beautiful day. had a lot of trees for some reason. Okay, we're back. So let's start with the schoolhouse. A little glimpse of grounds here once we get over there. Uh, yeah, the buildings that have been moved here, there was nothing here. It was a park, but uh, 
that's about it. So I don't think anything will be open. Um, so this one room schoolhouse and town hall was up actually where you see those buildings originally there. And so they moved it here, even put in a field stone foundation. Seventy-seven. A glimpse. You can see that. Hopefully the lens isn't too dirty. Pause here for a sec. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yeah, Linwood Park. This was called. I think so. I think it was. I can't remember what this park was called. Uh, anyways, closed for now. Okay, back again. It's been a little while since I got any content. But... The outhouse, Mr. Sparky. So now there wasn't a train station here. This train station was originally in Sturdivant, and uh, they moved it farther north to the present one. Um, so amazingly, they they moved this pretty far away too for here. Uh -huh called a witch's hat as you can see and what this station did is it handled north and south and east and west trains so you had trains going one way and then crossing going the other let's take a look here a couple switch stands Get some pieces of rail Old handcart and thing go back and forth. <laughs> Even moves. They do have it chained. Funny. Someone was in there. Sturdivant used to be called Corliss because the Corliss Valve Company was located there. Take a quick look inside. Yeah, they did a nice job. I'll have to get back here when it's open. Semaphore. Uh, Signal. Nice and cool out. Look inside here. <laughs> I'd been in here once when it was its other location. It was actually used as the waiting room for Amtrak. I'm not sure you'd be parking here on the grass. Uh, that would have been for freight. Somebody's burning something. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Nobody here. Might not be good. So what this was, was 
Jones machine shop. And uh, a nice metal roof on it now. That'll be stuff describing it. Apparently a nice house. <laughs> Just various buildings that were on farms around here. People donated. Double wall brick house. Brick ice house. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely looks smaller inside. So I had not sure I haven't been here when this has been open. So I don't know what is all in here. But it wasn't a barn, it was a machine shop. I'm sure it had old belt driven uh, machinery, bandsaws, drill press presses. Botting machine shed. Same thing. drawn oh and eventually probably well that'd have been horse drawn you walk behind it man maybe a planter of some sort the grounds. Yeah, Linwood Park, I believe, is what this used to be called. Stand-up kind of rig. So investigate the fire. These are just some buildings for the upkeep of the, of the park. I, I guess it's safe. I don't know. Well, if I see a fire break out, I'll be here to call. Take a look. I mean, it's not like there's, you know, anything flammable around here. the hell? I got the lid on, I guess. Yeah, still not good. But, yeah. Oh, that's right. We walked right past. We'll go back over to the caboose after we look at these buildings. That's right. Pokemon Go, there is a gym here, a couple gyms, and a couple Pokestops. <laughs> the last time I came here was for that. Greater. Hey. A couple 
ancient tombstones. Like 1862 to 1867. Good kid. Gas range. Modern. All ready to get hooked up. <laughs> no pilot light here, just turn the gas on. Maybe we do have a pilot light now, probably not. Alright, we says blacksmith shop. Too black in there. The history of this, whether it was real old or not. This certainly is a log cabin. Ha. Wish I would have a history of this. Say it when it was donated. Looks like they probably took it apart, put it back together. It feels that's just it would have a cement of some sort in there. Still though, that's big logs. And that's about it. Well, we'll go back over here and take a look at the caboose. LS and I, I'm not sure what that is. Around here we have Chicago Northwestern and Milwaukee Road. And that's about it. appropriate to have Milwaukee Road caboose here because this was a Milwaukee Road station. catching the reflection. Don't know. We can see in there. Yeah, they did a nice job. Things around here get tore down so fast. Have to set aside places like this.
climb up. Oh, yeah. Do it while it's moving. Oh, yeah. Handbrake. Alright, that's about it. <laughs> like I said, this station was pretty far away from here. Moved it all the way. Maybe 10 miles. up there says 1901 <laughs> all right thanks for watching <laughs>